Do you know the difference between a leader going internal and a leader going external? Hi, I'm Eric Lamblin with Leadership Developed. Welcome to our continuous month of February as we talk about the leader's mindset. Yesterday, we talked about the lead and the leg and how that mindset helps a leader motivate their people. Well, today, we're going to talk about going internal and going external. So what does that mean? Let's take you. We're going to take you. And we're going to put you out in the middle of the cold waiting for a bus. There's no shelter, no cars. You're in the middle of nowhere. It's cold out. And your hands are in your pocket. You're tucked under your coat as best you can. And all you can think about is how miserable you are. This sucks. Time has slowed down. No regards to where you're at, what buildings are nearby. Are there other cars on the road? You are just so focused internally, hence going internal. As a leader, you really can't do much or be effective leader when you're caught in that mindset of internal. You're too busy thinking about how miserable you are. You're too busy thinking about how time is moving slow, how there's no results. It's just stuck in this hell of limbo. So we taught in the Marine Corps that you have to go external, and that is Paying attention to your environment, paying attention to your team, looking out for everyone else. And so by being external, you no longer feel the misery anymore. You no longer feel time slowed down. You are now actually being proactive. How are the people doing? Where are we? What's in our environment? Is our environment active? Do, is there dangers out there I need to be worried about? Is there optimism? Is, there that, is that bus showing up? Do I see the headlights of that bus? Am I at a bus stop? Ooh, there's an idea. Because you're so internal, you didn't even realize you weren't at the bus stop. You're probably in nowhere North Dakota. Sorry, I grew up in North Dakota. The fact is, because you were so internal, so miserable, so much in yourself, that you didn't realize that the solution was as easy as paying attention to what's going on around you. The difference for a leader being internal and external goes a long ways. I can tell you that... There's a time that you're going to have to accept that you're going to be internal for a while. So my example is back on my third tour in Iraq, I got this real uh, scary email. My wife at the time, Wendy, emailed me to give her a call as soon as I got done flying. So not knowing other than going to the first thing I can think of is what's the worst thing that's happened right now. So when I called home, my expectations came true. She was, uh, she found a uh, lump in her breast and it was cancer. It was stage four breast cancer. And we've been dealing with this, you know, on and off for a while. So by the time we got through, you know, we hit this again, I just went straight into internal misery, feeling, feeling hurt for her. Now, you have to have that time. I also had to go external. I had to let my boss know what's going on. Why? Because we're in a combat zone doing dangerous things and my participation helps as part of the solution for our un- organization, our unit, to save lives. With me in a state of mind of hurt, upset, and worry for my wife, I have gone internal. I have now become pretty much dysfunctional. By going external and saying and realizing that I need to fill in this gap, I need to place this gap. Not that I have to force myself to be involved. I have just to do the duties of a responsible leader. And that is to connect my, the guy above me, the guy or girl above me, with the guy and girl who's below me to connect them together. And the reason why is they are going to understand what is happening, that I have to take care of personal matters. I have to take care of myself. I have to get my head straight. So that is why being internal and external will allow you as a leader to be able to plan, react, and be able to fill in the gaps because you're human. You're going to have your times where you are going to be miserable and you're going to have to go internal. But if you have to remember to go external by making sure that there's no hole or vacuum in that leadership that that organization needs. Once again, I'm Eric Lamblum. 
Thanks for joining me on this journey. Hey, please hit like and also hit subscribe. Help us get our message out to other growing leaders. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about what is easy and what is right. I hope to talk to you and hope to see you there tomorrow. <music>